here we are testing for the air resistance forces. So the air from the hairdryer is act as the air resistance. Well, the toy car, we are we need to calculate the distance traveled for the toy car. So now I'm gonna remove the hairdryer to test for the distance traveled by the toy car without the air resistance. And now, I'm going to give the toy car a light push to calculate the estimate distance traveled by the toy car. So as seen, the toy car traveled about approximately 15 cm without air resistance. Now, the reset is made and now the toy car is back to 0 cm. I'm going to use the hair dryer to act as the air resistance. I'm going to turn on to the highest speed so that it can act as the strong air resistance while the car toy car is pushed so that I can calculate the distance traveled by the toy car with the air resistance present. Okay. I'm going to turn it on at the same time, I'm going to give a light push to the toy car. Now let's rewind the video to look at the distance traveled by the toy car with the presence of air resistance from the hairdryer. With about the same amount of energy pushed to the toy car, it traveled about 12 cm which is lesser than the distance traveled without air resistance at 15 cm.